what is like a turnoff right away. You see it for probably five, ten seconds, and you're like, eh. I don't even need five or ten seconds. Tits out, I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need five or ten seconds. Cloca 2018. Cloca 2018. Bust nuts in three Put seconds Put that on a shirt. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Hello and welcome to the MA Summit Podcast. My name is Quoka. With me I've got... Nick. This podcast can hold so much shit taste. <laughs> Slaps proof of podcast. <laughs> I wrote that in the show sheet. And some. <laughs> what up, bitches? And we're going to be uh, talking about, you know, anime that just defies your expectations or is exactly what you expected it to be in all the terrible ways that could be interpreted. And we're going to play a little game. Judging it by its cover, we'll play a little game at the end. But we're just going to look at a bunch of shit and judge it. We're going to judge it by its... Do you judge anime by their covers, by their key visuals, and then you watch it and you're just like, wow, that was the most greatest thing I've ever seen, even though the synopsis and the thing looked really dumb? Because I do that probably 50% of the time. I have to wait for Nick or Coca or somebody to tell me, no, it's actually good. And then I watch it, and then I'm like, oh. It was. <laughs> Literally 50% of the time. 50%. Actually, it's most of the time it's most of the time it's Nick saying, no. Watch it. Well, he does that just all the time. Yep. He just tells you to watch that's everything. My, that's how that's I convince true. you, Sam. I just say, Sam, you bitch. Yeah. You know what I need to do, actually? You know how those anime bingos have been going around on Twitter? I gotta make one. Still. I'm gonna make you an anime bingo of stuff you haven't seen yet. <laughs> that I should watch? Yeah. You gotta black that shit out by the end of the year, bitch. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Gotta do it. We should yep. do an anime bingo episode, or at least like uh, some kind of mini game at some point. Some, Yeah, week, we should, because that's really hilarious, actually. Uh, I still haven't made mine yet, but there's like a website where you go do it. We'll we'll uh, probably tweet some stuff on the. Oh you know, yeah, or we'll I have an idea for a something. game that I want to put some stuff together. It might take a while, but. Yeah, we could we could yeah, do that. Yeah, more games. We I've have heard, ideas. I've seen comments in the YouTube where people uh, enjoy those a little bit. You know, we because we don't do them all the time, so it's like just enough. So it's like. So you're saying we should do whatever. one game per episode. One game for episode. We could. I mean, shit. <laughs> um, also, we're minus the Danny. She'll be back next week. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just the three of us. And she died. Psalm's out collecting the Dragon Balls, but he had time <laughs> to radio <laughs> in for this. It's best Dragon Ball intro. Not Dragon Dragon. The Chinese Rock the Dragon. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah the f- Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into the news real quick. Then we'll get into the topic. And the light news week, you know, there wasn't a lot to put on here. Uh, I didn't find a lot of stuff that people hadn't already talked about in our Discord. So, sorry. Well, anyway. I found some... Uh couple of, of anime news network articles so okay take it to mention the, that take really it quick take it to uh, nick with the news news first. nick news. go fuck yourself san diego <laughs> it's news anchor nick <laughs> um so the first one is a uh, crunchyroll adds sword of the stranger nichijo and gosik to anime to the anime catalog so sam you have to watch all of that by I've next week i've seen nichijo you gotta watch it again. And the other one. And Gosik. Gosik has that, what is it, the goth lolly girl? You know what I'm saying? Which right. one is that one? I think that's Gosik. Haven't I'm seen it, but up. I recognize it. <laughs> I'll look it up. Um, but yeah, so that, that's pretty exciting. I, th- I think they used to have uh, Nichi Joe. They just got the license back, so that's pretty cool. Gives me an excuse to go watch it. Yeah, Gosik has the goth lolly. Yeah. That's <laughs> the goth lolly. She like reads minds or something? Anyway. That's pretty exciting. Sword of the Stranger has like some of the best action scenes in anime, so that's def- that's definitely another one, another classic. 
Good job, Crunchyroll. And now Sam has to go watch them. All right, so then the second piece of news, as I awkwardly <laughs> transition, uh, Netflix uh, aired the teaser trailer to Castlevania Season 2, which came out a few days ago now. Um, we yeah, all we sweet. already knew this was coming out. Um, Along, like basically after season one finished, they announced season two. So yeah, well, because season one was only like four apps, and then it, the yeah, way this it is going to be eight episodes. Yeah, the way it ended was like, okay, let's do this, and it's like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fun show. Like it's just a fun, pulpy, action show. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's based on Castlevania three, so which is awesome because that's also one, on Netflix. Godzilla it, two. I still haven't watched the first one yet, dude. I gotta watch the first one. I haven't seen any Godzilla movies ever. <laughs> what? Great shame upon my family. Shame upon family. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I like, want to start with the Hideaki Anno one. It's on Netflix. Cause I'm, nah. Because I'm a baller. Wait, the Anno one yeah. is on Netflix? Oh, it is that really? Oh, probably That's not Shin on our Godzilla. Netflix. Nick. Probably yeah, not on our Godzilla. Netflix. Nick. Oh, yeah, it depends on the region. Shin yeah. Godzilla's on Netflix. I, on your Netflix, maybe. Maybe. No, I need Hold to on, check. I'm looking. I'm looking right now. Hold it might on. be Shut under up. Godzilla Resurgence. Right we gotta find out. Isn't that like that's that's what zero. its Netflix English title is? Oh, I suppose Shin Godzilla wouldn't be very helpful. Nope, it's not on ours. Godzilla one, two. Just VPN that shit. That to one anywhere except the U.S. Those one. Though that one and two, those are the two anime ones. Oh yeah. 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 But, but, the live action Mortal Kombat's on here, so, there you go. Oh, the the really <laughs> old one? <laughs> yeah. Those are $500 sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> Dude, fucking classics. Um, <laughs> God, I don't want to watch that. I want to role as Chung Li. In, Chung uh, Li. In City Hunter. Oh, Chung Li. <laughs> Dude, that was the only good anime ap- adaptation ever is, is City Hunter with Jackie Chan. <laughs> only good anime adaptation is good. Anyway, what else you got? Uh, yeah, so then the after the Castlevania Crunchyroll, there's another. This one's kind of neat. I just found it like a few minutes ago. Um, Block Studios slash Crypto Anime Initiative runs digital art market with cryptocurrency. And they're launching this... Um, uh, what, what, this initiative under in, in April. Wait, wait. Nope. It launched in April and they are trying to empower users to fund merchandise and stream their content directly to fans. So it's kind of similar to like a Patreon streaming service type thing. Like there's a whole little graph in here. We can link it. You got the fans payment goes to creators then they send crypto and production. So they're combining payments. two different yeah, like unsustainable whole, businesses. It's like a circle of goods and services. So um, it runs on Ethereum blockchain platform. And that's going to be interesting to see where that goes. It's This is just like relatively new. So That's crazy. I don't know. Blockchain plus anime, dude. Got a couple <clears> other stories <throat> about that. A lot of a lot of a lot of people getting scammed in the <laughs> in the cryptocurrency. Yeah, I think we talked about Wild that on West. here once. But uh, did we talk you know, about that on here one? No, time? it was like a that was a different story. I think there was like oh, a okay. anime otaku coin or something. Otaku coin. <laughs> yeah. Why right off the bat, it just sounds like not safe. <laughs> like <laughs> like anime. Yeah. Crypto if it was currency. legit, it'd be called waifu coin. Yeah, that's true. Fuck dude, that, dude, for real. Yeah, like waifu coin. I listen to this other podcast, and he has a he has a cryptocurrency called Dickles. Dickles, because <laughs> his name is Dick. <laughs> yeah, listen, funny. I need more waifu. <laughs> Gotta sell all my Nendos for more waifu. More coin. waifu coin. <laughs> Who would be on the hundred dollar bill of the waifu coin? You don't need a hundred dollar bill. Yeah, you but do, no, so like you if, can visualize it. No, but a visual like a visualization of it though would be like it'd be the hundred waifu. Who's the hundred waifu? The hundred waifu orgy, that's what it's called. <laughs> no, that's a lot of them. So it would just be a hundred waifus having an orgy on a coin. <laughs> yeah, it would be Chitoge, just to make everyone salty. Oh fuck off! One hundred best best girl. Mm-hmm. Marika's best girl. No, she'd be on the penny. <laughs> oh my 
my god. All right, what else you got, you bitch? Uh, that was that was it. Um, basically those three stories. Not a whole lot of news, so we should just move move forward. In other news. I went to see my jujitsu instructor in his MMA professional debut in Wonju, South Korea, and he that's awesome, dude. Fucking destroyed that guy. It was the cleanest match of the night, fastest. A whole two punches were thrown and they missed, and then he just choked the fucker out. <laughs> Shit! How long was that round? It was supposed to be a ten-minute match. And it right. lasted one minute and thirty three seconds. Sounds like my love life. <laughs> Choke out in the first round. That's great. <laughs> Just kidding. That's pretty good. Um, That's, yeah, it, no. fights are usually super fast, though. Like in real life, well, if, especially if people have jujitsu skill, the fights go a lot quicker. Yeah. So some of the things yeah. really quick, really quick though. Some of the things. The trailer for the Nisekoi live action came out. That's fucking weird. It looks oh, weird. God. I don't like it. It looks you fucking weird. You can't do that without animation because there's no girl. No girl as cute no. as Chitoge. In like existence. drawn in her style, in the art style that yeah. Yeah, nobody can, nobody can can match that that Dude, uh, she looks threshold. Dumb. Plus nobody I'm, can do the shaft head tilt. I'm telling you right <laughs> now, it looks uh, she looks dumb. Chitoge looks really I don't know. I don't like it. Anyway. Is it like some Asian girl? Wait, is Chitoke even? Anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's Japanese films. It's all Japanese actors, but uh, yeah. Yeah, they're yellow washing Chitoke her. Chitoke was like actually Asian. Though. Yeah, they're yellow washing. Wasn't well, she's Chitoke got a, like she's part got a, white or something? She's got an Asian name. I don't fucking remember, actually. I'm going to be real with you. Look it up real quick. Let's look it up. Nisa Koi. <laughs> <laughs> we'll assume she was part white. The audience can prove us wrong. That's fine. Um, <laughs> Change my mind. She's sisters with Olivia from a Sobiesa base. <laughs> she is. Confirmed. That's like canon. We Dude, I cannot stop watching that OP. Asobi Asobase. It's yeah, not, dude. No, it's the not eating revolutionary is way better. in any sense. It's very basic. But like when they clasp their hands and, and they're just like chanting. Like, oh. <laughs> Chitoge is a half Japanese, exotic, and extremely beautiful sister from the United States. United States, yeah. So they fucking her dad's her. American, yeah. And uh, dude, anyway. there's also no way they're gonna get those her bow emojis, right? That takes some fucking, you know, some digital post processing to do that because you can't do that in real life. It's just obviously, a floppy ribbon. Obviously, I'm fucking kidding. It's a Japanese film, so they have Japanese actors. But anyway, um, fucking, and then also there's a My Hero Academia Brave Frontier collab that starts tomorrow. So by the time you hear this, it's already out. Free roll with that one, probably. I know a lot of people in our Discord have played Brave Frontier or are playing it. I don't play it because I fucking hate it. But they do collabs like this all the time, and it's fucking awesome. Speaking and I don't like you. Fuck you, bitches. I'm, I'm the fucking, I'm the best. I, yeah. No, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing about mobile games is when you're playing mobile games, you're probably on your phone. And if you're on your phone, you probably have another app called Instagram, which we're on. So you should follow us on Instagram and double tap, uh, anime double tap podcast. all that shit. And then follow us on Twitter and tweet at Nick and tell him, here's my anime bingo. Do you have bingo? I would say out of the four of us, Nick would probably get a bingo quicker than. Oh, a like, bingo. It depends on your category, though. You can do like. You know, but character no, like, bingo, I thought, TV I show the, bingo. I thought the idea. No, Kasam, what we do is we make sure that there's one in every single row that we know. I he think the seen. idea. I thought the idea of the bingo was to put anime that like, because you can do a character one like or a waifu one, and then no, I yeah, thought you the, can do you can do any theme. Sam, there is no point to it. It's oh, to get thought, it's it's a it's a clever marketing campaign. It's just stupid to get internet people stuff. to watch more anime. <laughs> I thought the point of it was to put anime that you've seen. And then you see like well yeah basically you put a lot of people it's just it's kind of like favorite, another you put your favorites or whatever it's a three by three variant but like you don't three have to threes. do your favorites you can just pick anything you can be like that you've oh seen. okay um, action anime bingo so or you could purposely you know? make it like obscure weird shit that's kind of funny anyway anime bingo is a thing you should my favorite you was sh- uh was one one of our listeners in in Discord posted a a Bakugo bingo? It's just all Bakugo. It's like favorite character bingo. <laughs> you, but you should tweet at us though your anime bingo or share it on our Discord and tag us and see uh, who does what. Maybe we'll do a little host contest 
at the at the last two weeks of August since he was got the yeah. most bingos. And actually, by the end of the there's week. an That'd interesting thing we could do with that um, with the bingo. So let's say you get four and you're missing one. That could be the show swap right there. Boom. Ooh, Look at that. I like that. I like that. I like that idea. Write it down Holy right now shit. or you're fired. We are brainstorming live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> call. You're witnessing history. <laughs> okay. Someone text Someone text Aquanips. I'm going to text him right now. Oh, my Tell God. Tell him to write it. In. Production assistant, get do your job or you're fired. Anyway, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and you can go to YouTube and subscribe there. New episodes every Thursday, and then they get uploaded to the YouTube the following Saturday. Fuck y'all. Go do that shit. Subscribe. And, oh, you know what? Also subscribe to Anime Summit Extra. I see that shit. I fucking see you. Okay? I see you with my fucking eyeballs right now. Okay? I've been pimping that bitch way more in the last couple months. And I've seen that number climb very nicely. And I want more. I want more of you to sub to Extra so you can see Quokka's girlfriend play PUBG. You You've gotten watch, the taste for it. You can watch me and other Discord members play video games together. Uh, me and Aquanips are doing videos together soon. And uh, you can see my review on Bloodstained Curse of the Moon if you're a Castlevania fan, speaking of Castlevania. And most importantly, fucking Swag Hall from Anime Expo 2018. Nick and Mac got a three-parter up there to show you all the swag they got. And more vlogs and extra funny shit. So, fuck you. Go subscribe to that, too. And now, I'm going to throw it back to the Quaka. <laughs> Quaka City uh, DJ. That's your new name. I don't know Quaka if anyone could hear DJ. that. I was playing with the soundboard in the background. <laughs> I didn't hear it, dude. Okay. Quaka It'll probably it. come through on the audio. Okay. <laughs> okay. Quaka City DJ, what do you got? Waifu uh, and Husbando. We're on... T- Wait, what? What are we on? Husbando Waifu? Yeah. The Faku girl. The fuck. girl? <laughs> Wait, I thought we already wrote some down. <laughs> no, we did. Yeah, Coco, what are you doing? <laughs> Who's the Faku girl? <laughs> the Faku uh, that's like girl. their mascot, right? I don't think right? she has a name. Faku mascot, shit. And then Crunchyroll, Crunchyroll Hime, the princess. <laughs> Crunchyroll Hime. <laughs> that's like a real character. Yeah, I have shirt. <laughs> and then <laughs> poster. The of, I have a poster Hime. of both of them. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to read. <laughs> look, okay. I got Look. <laughs> So, <laughs> why, why of the shit. week is Rika Furude from from Higurashi Girls? Nanaka Koro ni Higurashi when they cry. Has anyone? Have, we've all seen that, right? Or is it I've, just me? And I've only seen half of it. <laughs> I need to. I need to finish. I that. don't even know what it is. Dude. I'm gonna. You, you've seen School Live, right? Gaku Garashi? It's like that, but different. I, it's it Moe be- Horror. Yeah, it's just... Moe it's, Horror. It just becomes a gore fest afterwards, though. It's kind of stupid. You become um, a gore fest. Shut up! It. Have a little respect. Hey, you put a little respect. And then the... <laughs> this bando this is bando Makoto is, from School Days. Yeah. Makoto Asshole from School, from school days. days. So these characters are picked because they're Ooh, parts Makoto. of shows Man. that... Defy your expectations in terms you of what it you would think you're getting when you, you know you hit that good. when you hit that uh, currently watching button on my anime list. What you think you're getting into, and then once you get into that completed, you're just like, "Whoa, you're a whole new person." No, I think I think these two characters are a good example of you think it's going to be good, it turns out to be bad. I think. Well, Higurashi, mm-hmm. you think it's going to be a cute. Well, to be fair, the the poster of Higurashi is pretty ominous, but like you see a bunch of, you know, you see four cute girls, moe girls with giant bobbleheads. You're like, "Oh, it'll be a club show." But in reality, it's a club show. Except it's not a school club. It's a fucking baseball bat. It's a bat. seal cub club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they get brained. Somebody gets stabbed in the face. Pretty sure that happens in the show. Yeah, there's a scene there's a scene where a girl <laughs> falls she falls down the stairs like five six steps and there's an umbrella open no that's a that's another that's another no that's higurashi you're thinking of another dude okay shut up why that's don't like go, episode two of another or something why don't you save it for another another podcast okay another what <laughs> another, no like yeah i know okay. i'm just kidding <laughs> okay 
shut, <laughs> shut, shut the fuck up. All right. And then school cool. days, you see cute girls. Oh, it's a school romance. Woo! And then it, it's a school romance, but better. All right. Judging All a right. bitch by its cover. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's the what's the what's the deal? Okay. Okay. First, let's let's look up. What's the deal with all this crap anime making crap covers <laughs> that all look exactly the same? Well, they're trying to sell idols, and that's how they make money in Japan. Because you know, the depressed salary man needs a fictional idol girl to cheer him on as he as as, as he does the daily grind and, and drudgery and tries not to jump in front of a train. So, you know, you need those happy like, songs. I mean, like, there was the one the one from show from this season that, like, it, it feels like it's. I'm just looking at the cover, like, a, a new season of something else entirely. Like, it just went and copied. What What is it? Is the Subaru one. I was like, is this just fucking ReZero prequel? Thoughts on that, Sam? Because I, I, <clears throat> I cut out for a second there. I'm sorry. ReZero. <laughs> there was the one show from this season that is like has Subaru in the name, and it, the poster just looks like it's trying to be ReZero exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. They they think that people will accidentally start watching it, think it's ReZero. Because <laughs> like he's wearing the same fucking That's how they clothes. Get you. His name's fucking Subaru. Oh, the track suit, yeah. Hold on, I'm looking for it right now. It, it's probably towards the bottom. Should she say no Subaru? Studio Lurch. Lurch. I'm not even seeing it. Where the fuck is it? That's such a weird name. Lurch. In a popular MMORPG world. There oh, is. that's right, that's <laughs> right. Okay. No, the party is named Subaru. But yeah. And this one Yeah, has, I don't know. The only good Subaru oh, movie is the Pleiades show. Here we go. Because it was Please. paid for by go. Subaru to make an anime. <laughs> <laughs> and then apparently the anime is actually That's how you know good. it's going to be good. Because the, Subaru didn't care what they did with it at all. It was just, here's money, make an anime. Make sure it has something to do with Subaru. So they're just like, uh, the Subaru logo is a Pleiades cluster. So we're just going to have girls that are each of these stars. And the main character's name is Subaru. And they go so off and I fight guess... evil or something. Do so they have anthropomorphized cute girl Subaru Jeeps? No. They're just, they're, <laughs> it has <laughs> nothing to do with cars at all. You could watch Let's it and don't. never for once think just, of, like, Subaru. You gotta make everything a cute girl. That's the whole point of anime. So, I mean, like, th- this is a thing, though, right? This is a thing that y'all do, obviously. Like, we go every season, we, we go on and we look at the... Okay, we're about to start summer season, or we've already started summer season, but before we started, you know, we're looking at all these, obviously, and all it's the like... the cover art. Well, okay, like, sequels, it's like, whatever, right? Sequels, you can kind of get away with... You can do with anything. Just put the main character's face on there. <laughs> yeah, there they can go. be done... Like, okay, for example, sequels or remakes or whatever. For example, the, the poster for Evangelion, the first rebuild movie... It was just like Shinji and a bunch of characters on the steps. And it didn't really need to have that much more shit because it was just like, oh, it's Evangelion. Yeah, there's a certain whatever. pretense that but like, like, you know what it is. Yeah, and then, then there was actually two key visuals for the second one, which was all of them again, plus Asuka and Mari, and then the same one, except he was by himself. And it was like... It was kind of it was kind of sad and ominous. It was really cool, but anyway, they could just like, have a black background with the with text, and people would go watch that. <laughs> well, well, even one of the posters Depending for Evangelion, even one of the posters for Evangelion two was just an orange, reddish orange poster oh, with tang, the black like with that. the black outline of Ava Unit One going berserk, and people were like, "Oh!" At least I was anyway. I like the negative but, space posters. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. You got the silhouette going on. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like it's already established, right? You know it's AV Unit 1. It's no big deal. But when we're looking for shows to watch, right? Yeah, you're, when you're trying to judge a book, an anime book by its cover, an anime TV book <laughs> by its TV <laughs> anime show TV. Um, That's a TV book DVD, you know? <laughs> you know, you, you got to know what to look for. 
So you okay, see, like, what are the de- what are the clues and details? Does anybody know who that, who chooses to write the like hint. the English synopsis? Does that come out from like the official studio, or it, does somebody oh, translate on my, on, the Japanese? On my anime list, on my anime list, sometimes they have like their own thing that some kid wrote, <laughs> some random ass fucking person wrote it on my anime list. Because sometimes and then on Anime News Network, they have better ones generally. Because, like, the synopsis is always shown, like, right alongside the cover art. And some synopsis I've seen for shows are, like, so useless to tell you anything about what's going on. Yeah. If it's Mal original synopsis, most of them are not very good. Because they're they're just by just average Joes. They're not by, like, professional writers. <laughs> so it's like they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, or they, like, they get too wordy with it. and then, Yeah. But um, we're not talking about words. We're talking about pictures. Well, I mean, I mean, the synopsis is part of it for sure, but I mean, it's always just like right. Like, okay, so oh, I guess actually, I guess we are. There's words on the cover of a book. Well, okay, well, I don't know. There's just <laughs> yeah. so many shows, like what's an example that ha- Hanebado, where you look at the cover and you're just like, this just is a show I've already seen. Like Hanebado looks like fucking Keijo. Yeah, you have layered. You have a. You have three layers of girls and like a three color white. You know, primary colors, background. Yeah, so like that's a sports show. So, Coca, let me let me stop you right there from being a two bit whore. So, like, really quick, we should tell people what the three of us, anyway, look for. Like, what are we looking for when we're looking through these covers? Whether it's a key visual, whether it's the posters on Mal, whether it's a new hentai we're riffling through in the the back section of Shinders. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we looking for? For real? I want something that actually tells a bit of a story. You want a cover art that tells a story. Yeah, like there's some there's something to it. Not just, okay. oh, here's our characters in front of a scene. I mean, that's a little hard, though. Because With one like, picture, you want to... well, you could, you could do it. It's, well, it no, is I, tough. I feel, I feel you. I think a I, good I... example is, uh, let's see, from this season, if we're going summer season... I would say Banana a pretty fish good example. Banana Fish is a good one. Banana Fish looks pretty good. You got like four different sections. You got different characters. You can tell it's like a, a crime drama. And they're framed drama. differently, so it kind of Yeah, Banana you know, Fish has that intrigue. kind of, it kind of has that collage style yeah, design that's a happening. Yeah. It's like um, a thriller, a mafioso, you know, right type of, th- type of feel to it. And I it's yellow. From- like the and word it's banana. Yellow, like banana. <laughs> My favorite fruit, aka. No, but like. <clears throat> well, you can tell too, because th- like looking at. The, let's just. One more moment. With Banana Fish, you got the two main characters standing back to back because they got each other's backs. So you already know they're on a team right there. Buddy cop. <laughs> then you got this guy covered in shadows. He's the bad guy, obviously. Yeah, extra zoomed in on his face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But oh. does it. Okay, so here's the thing, though. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is um, I agree with you, somewhat. But like, you also don't want to give away too much. You want to tell just enough to hook bitches. But like, I don't know. How are you gonna spoil it on the cover? I mean, That's I want to know. I want to know well, because you know shit. About. Like, I don't fucking know. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say what I look for. Okay, what I look for is I look for. Oh. I obviously right away I look at the art style because as like. An artist that kind of, I mean that 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 should matter to a lot of people. So today's art style is moe, moe, and more moe. <laughs> moe, <laughs> like okay, like if we're looking at that, she, she say no Subaru one again. That one is kind of like okay, I've seen this before. It's it's like the the trend, the current whatever. Oh, that that reminds me of other posters. They that's like the exact like homage to or homage to like. What does that remind you of? Because I've seen posters that look exactly like this. I'm not... It's because it's got that girl. It's got the. It's got a really, really focused main femme main character with her hands together praying. Like that's a lot of. And then you have like the faded out version of another one in the background. It's like the. God, what is that from? Like I know, and this isn't just from anime. This is from like real life stuff too. I'm not the movie buff, so I don't know. Anime is real no, life. Sure, no, I hear you. I hear you. I'm wondering if it, like it, it kind of reminds me of a Star Wars poster, but. Not you know not Star Wars, just yeah. Because the there's like layered, characters. there's like some characters are smaller, some are bigger. The forefront characters are are full bodied and smaller, and then like 
the other ominous characters that they have to deal with that may have a lot to do with the story are in the back, like with just like their head down or whatever, you know. But yeah, no, you have, I, like, I this agree. Grouping with you. of people like facing like there's one facing forward, one left, one right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I know that's I'm sure a big that even, thing. I'm sure that even started before Star Wars too. No, oh, yeah, God, obviously, this yeah, dope. In Inglorious Bastards, Star Wars posters. <laughs> Inglor Inglorious Bastards is a perfect example of what you just said. The there's three guys on the front, and then there's the bad guy in the back middle, but you can only see his face to his shoulders. It's I'm just like famous movie posters. All right. <laughs> so like those kind of design concepts, I also look at after I look at the art style, and then I look at. Okay, what what is this kind of about, obviously? So, like, there's one key visual that I'm looking at on Pinterest right now for Happy Sugar Life. And this is a perfect example. Because Happy Sugar Life, as we know, is a fucking crazy-ass, like... Yeah, I was going to say that was another good example. Um, the one that's on Mal is not the one I'm, I'm talking about. But there's, the, there's a key visual for it where it's just the pink-haired girl and the blue-haired girl laying in a bed. And it looks super cute. Like it just looks really cutesy. Like you don't you think this is gonna and it's called Happy Sugar Life for God's sakes. Can you link um, that? Post, yep, yep. I'm linking it right now so you guys can see. Look at that. Like it just looks like it looks like a cutesy anime where the, uh, there's an older girl and a younger. Oh, girl. this is the worst post. This is the worst one. This isn't yeah, like it's, the actual cover art. No, it's not the actual cover. Art. It's it's but like as a key visual though, because key visuals are just made to promote. Right, they're just there to be put out by the producer, and then try and hook people. And the girls are laying in a position like they went on a docky pillow, and it just looks really like cute, or whatever. And then you watch it, and it's like, oh, that is yeah. That they is a uh, they pull the fast one on you. <laughs> and they do the old. I don't. I don't like that key visual art. I don't think it, it fits the show at all. Me feel like it's a Yuri Pedo show. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Which it, it well, it sort of is, but like <laughs> not really. Well, right, but I think the the I mean, it, that was the point of the key visual though was not to make you not not to show you what it I was actually about. I think that's a template about. for the dockies. <laughs> yeah, it just turns on it. But like, I think but the mal the mal art is much better because they're sinking underwater upside down and she's clutching the girl, and it's like, oh, that kind of shows that they're you know they're going down a dark path. Is that water or snow? Either way, they're falling down. Psycho horror story. Is that sex or drugs? Anyway, another Chasing one. That purple dragon. Another one that's good, though, that I kind of... When you have a lot of characters, too, like uh, Honey Bottoms one or... The, oh, ensemble yeah, the, casting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the always key visual, tough to do the posters. The key visual for um, Review Starlight is fucking cool. Uh, it only shows two characters, though. Oh, oh yeah, see, not... it does the it does the Utena thing because it it has yeah. the characters with their you know upside down to each Sorry, other. Sorry, I was looking at a different one, but yeah, no, this one, the one on Mal so tabs with the two characters, <laughs> is fucking cool. Too. I know I have like fifteen tabs on. It just makes the me one on Mal too. If it's an idol show or a magical girl show, it's both. Well, it's both. That's why it's, it's great. <laughs> it's review. It's like this yeah. form of theater in Japan. There's a, there's a bunch of videos. So on fuck you. YouTube. I don't know anything about review, but it's you know. But, I was gonna, but here's the thing, right? You got two... about with the ensemble casting. I think the poster that so... handles that the best is Grand Blue, because it's got all the characters out on a boat in a setting that they would be in. You'd be like, "Why are they all out on a boat? I see some fine ass legged bitches there. Let's watch this show." Yeah, but that show sucked. <laughs> it's okay. No, the only thing thing about the Grand Blue post, I don't really, I don't love that one. Either. I don't like that. Post I just mean it much, handles it that showing flat. lots of people. In a way that isn't just oh let's stack well, independent artwork of everybody. Yeah, it's better than like the blank background like green screen shit. That's <laughs> like oh here's a desk and chairs, <laughs> and then we're gonna stand in front of it. Next but, like, to uh, next to Grand Blue, which is Hanebato. Next to Hanebato is a perfect example of plain white background, two characters, the title at the top. Looks real dumb. Like I have no idea. What yeah, too many characters. You know, what are they doing? Are they running? Are they volleyball? Oh, are they playing badminton? What? How do I know that? I was talking about the one next to Hanibato, but I mean oh. the Hanibato one is fine. You can tell they're playing badminton. Like you can't tell it's a badminton racket. Yeah, I think that one. That one's very serviceable. Um, Bitch, you're blind. I'm talking is. about Yuragi So no Unison. 
Oh, whatever. here we go. Yeah, the so the Revue Starlight one is kind of um, paying homage to the adolescence of Utena movie. If you look at that cover art on Mal, that's what that's what that one reminded me of. Plus, it's oh. like they do a lot. There's a lot of callbacks to similar stuff from there. But, but like, um, what am I trying to say? Like, okay, so a bad example. We've mentioned a few of those good examples. Mm-hmm. Let's mm-hmm. see. Oh, let's 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 look at a really bad example. <laughs> I and can't I even pronounce we'll, this. Vol- Valkyria. Which one's that one? It's uh, Hyokurin no How no Seiku no Valkyria. The Su- Subaru one. Oh, the Master of Ragnarok, Blessing of Einhart. Yeah. Oh my God. You have these bug-eyed girls, all different hair colors. You have one guy in the middle, and their faces look just derpy as hell. You got the pre- <laughs> so, I mean, you even have the praying that, girl in the background. When I saw that, <laughs> yeah, one, the pre- See, I told you. Like, a Holy show shit. from Can't get away early two thousands, or a porn. I know, and it looks like it looks like the 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 thing they would make you watch in um, what was that horror movie with uh, m- like Memorial or uh, you know what I'm saying, Tom? The where he like tapes the guy's eyes open and makes him watch stuff. Whatever, just Which just move on. Doesn't what? matter. Which one are you talking about? It's on, you know, on South Park where there's the, the serial killer. The serial killer captures somebody and forces them to watch stuff. Anyway, that's... Uh, no, it's, it's what they showed to the monkeys. Everyone's fucking yelling at their earbuds right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, and yeah. 28 days later. It starts with an M. It starts with an M. I know that. Um, good Lord, I can't fucking remember. But anyway, anyway. For, for the record, though, this Valkyria one, I will say right now, I like this art style. But for this kind of anime where you have, where it's like a harem fantasy, whatever the fuck, it's fucking dumb. And then you got praying girl in the back. Looks like it just looks generic as fuck. Like you got so main I'm guy. I'm not sure that you actually like the art style so much as you're nostalgic for that art style. Which one were we talking about? Yeah, that that's more like it. That's probably what it is. What what, what show like are we talking about? The Valkyria one that you pointed out. Oh, I th- I think that. Oh yeah. <laughs> All in all, though, what I'm looking at... I'm just looking I'm seeing, at the character, the character designs on that look terrible. I'm just saying that I, as a whole, you have main guy with big sword, and the rest of them are chicks. Okay, cool. Moving on. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's not going to that's not gonna help me want to watch that at all. It looks well, stupid. and you automatically know it's a harem, even if it doesn't say it is. It is. Same right. idea. With any, 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 like, anime cover with one male and multiple females is a harem. Um, it's not going to be labeled like that if it's not specifically, but that's what it is. Um, right. And I'm not saying all harems are bad. Okay. I'm just saying I'm sick of them. <laughs> well, yeah. Like look at Monogatari. That's like a, a really good one. Um, oh sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. What was I going to look up? Fuck. But it's like, I have a, there's like one category of anime where all my rules for covers don't matter anymore. Like they're a total exception and that's like romance shows. Oh yeah, romance. Yeah, which all have pretty much exactly the same cover, which is cherry blossoms blowing in the wind and the two people looking. Yeah, so after looking the at or looking away. Other. Like there's only so, so much after you can the do rain. with those. Do, do they have? Do they have their hands behind their the hand their hands behind their but backs? I don't care. Like <laughs> kind of like I leaning think forward guy, or backward. Like after yeah. the rain. And that's one of the ones that I don't really care if it looks like a hundred shows that I've seen before because that's not the point with those shows. Well, yeah, they they well the thing they do this on purpose too. Like they ape all these other designs so that you, it looks familiar, and you're like, oh, I've seen I've seen this. I like this. Let's let's watch this rom com again or this this new version of something that I've seen yeah. before. That's like how Netflix has so many different cover arts for most shows that they see the pattern of when you clicked on new shows, what the style of artwork was. So they try and feed you more artwork yeah it's like, like uh it's like those search engine algorithms they're like oh you clicked on an article now we're gonna fucking force feed you it in your in your youtube feed <laughs> um, so i got a question though so you can see like the same show and especially if it keeps showing up but you're not clicking on it it'll keep changing so posters. i got a question though while nick looks for a really bad example well i, I was gonna say <clears throat> really quick a good example we were talking about ensemble cast is the uh, the shirabako poster has is a pretty good example because you have each character looks like they have their own personality. You can see it right on the poster. And that's the problem with these other ensembles is like they're all 
the reason that the, the Valkyrie one looked bad is because every character, they just look dead-eyed. They don't look, you can't see their personality in the poster, but with Shirabako, you know, you have the main girl, she's, she looks responsible, she's wearing her suit. You have these other girls, like one's leaning over, one's, you know, back. They have different styles. They have different, like, expressions. You have the guys ran, running manically in the background. You have the, you know, the director guy, he's, he looks panicked. You know, and you, you can tell their, their character right away just from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that only tells you that it's at least good-looking crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, it, it's going to make me want to watch it, but obviously it has to deliver at the end of the day. So we could find uh, we could find one that's like, oh, good cover art, but then it didn't actually have a good story and, like, figure out why... Um, why that why that might be or something like that so like what's so oh sorry sam you're gonna ask a question oh sorry i was just gonna ask like when you guys are scrolling through whatever's or you see a new key visual on twitter or whatever <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> my nose is like a little stubby sorry um you you um what is like a turn off right away you see it for probably five ten seconds and you're like eh I don't even need move. five or ten seconds. Tits out, I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need five or ten seconds. Quoka 2018. Quoka 2018. Busting nuts in three Put seconds that on or a less. Shirt. <laughs> Put that on a shirt. Panties out, maybe. <laughs> Especially the rice bowl panties of, uh, what is it, Mio from k Like, I guess, I don't know. I just when I went to my anime list for this podcast, there was like a, po- I'm not sure even what the context of why it was showing this to me, but it was a show called Show Me Your Disgusted Face and Your Panties. Oh, yeah. That's like the name <laughs> of the show. And That's just has a bunch of right like there. girls sitting down with their panties showing. It's like, what the fuck is this? What was Sam's question again? I totally forgot. What's like, what's a turnoff for you right away? Like, you, you're on Mal, you're looking for something. Oh, to watch. just dead eyed care. I mean, like. If it has like a shitty looking art style, like if I like you know the Valkyrie one, we got to stop talking about that one. Uh, okay, I'll go to one from this season that I know, like I knew instantly was gonna be bad. Okay, actually this one, never mind. I was I was gonna say Island, but that one kind of tricked me a little bit because it looks pretty okay at first, and then it's like fucking terrible. It's like a really boring anime. Yeah, it's um, still, it looks pretty okay. terrible. It looks bad, but it has like better than you know. There's like there's um detail to the art on it. Okay, so I didn't even watch this one. Something that's an instant turnoff for me. Oh, 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 oh! This is so easy. If it's just all guys, like if it's <laughs> <laughs> if it's no, if it's the Fujo bait, you know, it's it's the you know the exact same thing as the as the cute girl cute thing trope, except it was it's with guys. It's it's these bishy like you know pretty boys, and that's fine. They have their own audience. That's not me though. <laughs> like same idea with um. There's another one from the season, Sanjo and Holmes. You have a girl in front and then a bunch of guys in the background. That's a reverse harem, and it's it looks really generic the way they've they've displayed it. That's another Fujo bait show. Like I that I I cannot watch those types of shows. Okay, I just that right can't there, get into it ever. That right there, what you just said is the keyword for me: generic, right? This one by Studio Dean, Angaku Shoujo. Bunch of different color hair girls in school outfits, ensemble cast. They all got cutesy, happy faces going on. Don't fucking care. I'm just like I'd rather right watch there. that than Fujo, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, we all I know because you're a fucking straight penis <laughs> guy, but like gay. Uh, and that's <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta admit, you know, it's a little gay. But no, like honestly though, okay, like obviously the first thing I see is the title before I see the thing, but like that right there, generic. That's the biggest thing. That one, that Valkyria one, looks generic. The one I just mentioned looks generic. The thing that Nick mentioned, generic as fuck. You know what I mean? Like, another good one, another thing that's good for posters is candid shots. If you see the one on Mel for SSS.Gridman or whatever, that yeah, one looks Gridman. fucking cool to me. Like, and Yeah, I'm that one has it's... perspective and like depth to it. Well, it looks like a normal, like, school shot, right? But then in the back, outside, there's a big fucking alien. 
Well, and it has it has um, shading to it. <laughs> a lot of these don't have shading. It's just like one fucking tone. Right. Their hair is just a fucking piece of cauliflower, you know. Piece of cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, there's like a it's like a it's like a shot, you know. It's like an hour piece by itself, you know. But like, yeah. I don't know, dude. Oh man, it's, the, it's really hard. There's another like, one too, actually. This one's the 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 A one face. With like the Kirito face, the hero from from uh, Frank's, where it's like they have the clump of hair in between their eyeballs. You know what I'm talking about? That new <laughs> hairstyle, you know, over the past like <laughs> ten years or whatever. It looks fucking terrible. The stylized oh my bullpup. god! <laughs> yeah, it, it like I've said this before, but it literally looks like a fucking dingleberry. It, lo- <laughs> it looks like you just have. It looks like a tuft of butt hair sticking through his face. Like that's what it looks like to me. I can't get over that. <laughs> Tuft of butt hair sticking. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what right now, though. I'll tell you what right now. Speaking of ensemble cast, though, one of the best ones, and this is a current design trend in posters and stuff, which I love, and covers, video game covers, posters, key visuals, whatever. Chio, Chio School Road, the way that's done is great. You have... The main character's kind of in the front, kind of going backwards and upwards into the rest. Like, I don't even care that there's no background. It's just, like, the way the characters are placed to make, like, a a mountain of characters going backward and upward is really good. And they all have their own expressions. They're all different expressions. You have the weird fucking girl at the bottom with the blonde hair doing some weird position. And then you got, like, a fucking fish. Like in the upper right corner. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. <laughs> that is a way. That is a great way. A great design choice for. I've seen a Street Fighter Two poster like that, where it was like Ryu at the bottom, and then it went upwards into like this weird serpent shape, and it was all the characters kind of flinging around, flipping around. Guile doing his flash kick, whatever. But anyway, I like that that trend. That is a design trend that I'll probably. I hope sticks around for a long time because it's great. It's a great way to do it. Well, it's used for pretty much every Nietzsche Joe style You're show. Nietzsche Joe style show. Actually, the cover for Nietzsche Joe was great too. Nah. Yeah, it Nietzsche is, Joe. I, I pulled it up right here. Yeah. Well, you have, um, it have it's like a Where's Waldo style. Like, there's like a million things to look at on the picture. It's like the cells at work poster too. I don't like the cells at work poster very much. Yeah. To be Which honest, I think what? Is more. I don't really like it. I think that's overall like really terrible at telling you what the show's about, but now that we have that as like the standard for those kinds of shows, it just becomes familiar enough that you're like, Oh, this is you know, don't expect plot just a bunch of bunch ridiculousness. Of yeah, because look at Nietzsche Joe, you see you see them talking to Chio a cat. Road has lots of I plot. expect one hundred percent that if there's a poster that's like the Where's Waldo style as Nick puts it, that it's gonna be a show that doesn't have that's going to be like a slice of life or a bunch of nonsense or a bunch of, you know yeah. what I mean? Well, and, and a really cool thing I'm seeing on the poster, like you can tell it's a comedy, like just look, fucking look at it. But like, there's right. in the top right corner, there's a, a person walking in and they're just walking in casually. There's like spilled fucking rice on the floor. There's papers <laughs> scattered everywhere. There's like the girl with the, the wind up uh, gear on her back. And like someone's just coming in with like a bag of groceries or like whatever. <laughs> The other shoes off oh, already. This isn't the Nietzsche Joe one I was thinking of either, which is great. I'm just um, looking at the one on Mal. I mean, I'm, there's there's like a lot of different cover arts, but there's hey guys, let's move on to there's, the game. Okay, well, real quick, the one that Nick's looking at, it's got the it's got the cat with Sakamoto and the robot. There's another one just like it where it's the three girls in the school, the classroom, where it's like the same angle, same everything, but it's like them. I don't know. I, I like, like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like just it a, a really, really busy. So anyway, um, and then, that's kind of like the idea, really right? quick. Oh, go another ahead. Another thing that catches my eye is the big block letters. Like "Kill a Kill" is my is my best example there. Oh, or prison yep. school. They I agree. Have these big ass fucking, you know, super stylized titles. I agree, one hundred percent. Um, yeah, I mean, and you know, there's that, and then and then, uh, God, "Kill a Kill" is a fucking awesome poster. Holy shit! <laughs> I yeah, I fucking love it. So much, co- so it's like so clean, and yet so many, so many things going on with it. I I like that one, and I like the poster where it's just Ryuko and Satsuki, very ominous, really huge in the back. Yeah, I like both of them. Yeah, it, it kind of tells the story there a little. You bit. can tell they're enemies; they're gonna fight each other. They're gonna cut some bitches. Anyway, now you guys kind of know 
how we do stuff. How do you do stuff? How do you judge shit? What do you not like? What do you like? Do you look at it like me and Nick and Quoka look at it? Do you look at it just like how Quoka looks at it? Do you watch porn even? That's what I want to know. What's your favorite porno? Recommend me a porno in the comments. Anyway, let's move on to this game, shall we? The Lemon Thief. I want to go first. Oh, God. So, anyways, wait. No, real quick. Nick, explain the game. Oh, yes. So, we are playing a game. We may do this again in the future. It's called Anime Head to Head. or It's like yeah, a version like- of... Uh, of this other game I got from another Magic the Gathering podcast. Basically, the whole idea of the game is to... Um, each host is going to pick two anime that share some characteristic. So maybe they'll have the same genre, the same character types, maybe the same uh, creator, that type of thing. So you pick two anime, and then the other hosts have to guess which of the two has a higher popularity or a higher score or some other category. Mm-hmm. Let so, us know if you like this game. You know, for example, I'll pick, oh, which one is more popular, um, One Piece or Naruto? Oh, actually, and then you guys quick. have to guess that. That's just an example. I'm going to open both of mine right now, too. And we try to pick guys. stuff that um, that has at least loosely to do with the topic and that's, um, that, 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 might, that may or may not surprise you, that has, that has an interesting, you know, something to think about after, after discovering it. I'm opening mine right now on mail so I can... <laughs> Make sure you guys see it. Okay. I feel like we could go right, on mate. about more of the poster designs. I want to. I want to do like our top ten favorite posters. <laughs> I actually, yeah. Let us know if you guys want us to do that. Another do list that. episode. List episodes are the easiest. No, just post we them on that Instagram. Too. That's a good one. No, list we'll, we'll make an anime though. bingo with the <laughs> with the posters. <Yeah. laughs> These are our favorite posters. See if you got a bingo. Um. Anyway, Quoco, you said you wanted to go first. So the two shows. So the goal is which one has the higher score on Mal. Oh, God. All right, no cheating, Sam. I can hear you clicking. Okay. I'm not doing nothing. You know, get into that <laughs> sense of your head. Get get into that sense of, you know, what you're looking uh-huh. for. Okay. The two shows are, and I'll talk a little bit about them and give you uh, a quick snapshot from one of the reviews that's on, like, the main page. Okay? That's how we'll go through this. How the information will be presented? Uh, sure. Yep. So the two shows are Yurikuma Arashi and Sakura Trick, both lesbian masterpieces. Okay. And then, so, okay, should, we should say the year that they came okay. out, too, unless that's your question. Well, I'm going to go through all that. So Yurikuma Arashi came out 2015, Silver Link, directed by fucking Ik- Ikuhara, like Pat. Penguin Drome and Utena. And here's one of the reviews from my anime list. The, just the start little short bit. Everything is good in moderation. Now, if you were to say that to Ikuhara, he would probably pimp slap you with a proverbial hand and skip off into a schizophrenic sunset of left field allegorical stew while conjuring new ways to make even Satoshi Kon's nuttiest creations to look like tame Saturday morning cartoons. And that's for Yuma, Yurikuma, right? So that's Yurikuma Arashi. Uh, I say that accurately describes what Yuri Kuma Arashi is, which, for people that don't know, is Lesbian Bear Storm. Lesbian Bear. It's amazing. It is pretty good. Yep. And uh, Sakura Trick was 2014, so this is only one year apart, both winter season. Uh, Studio Dean, though, so you got to see what that counts for. Though some would say that this show is the one that <laughs> saved Studio some Dean. Some being Quoka. <laughs> and anime. <laughs> so the first review on Mal says this right here is a cult classic a short of war buried under erroneous preconceptions and uh, of and unfounded criticism this gem is obscured because it does not shine it is buried because its tone is that of abysmal black sakura trick pries into the darkest corners of your subconscious the most visceral of your cognition the most carnal of your urges the most primal of our instincts its sublimity will ever be debated, yet always remain objectively irrefutable. So the question is, what has the higher rating? Which has the higher rating? On my anime list. If you also want to go like with popularity too, which has the higher popularity, but that's, you know, for you. So discuss it amongst yourselves and come back to me with your votes. So Sakura Trick versus Yurikuma Arashi. I am going to... 
Which one has a higher Hard, rating? I'm going to guess... Oh, and the other thing, too, is like before we guess, we should try to give at least a very quick reasoning why we're guessing that. So... Yeah. Well, as I said, discuss it amongst I, my yourselves. My guess is that... Uh, Don't say your guess. Do the discussing. Okay. <laughs> I guess <laughs> I will discuss... <laughs> I think that uh, <laughs> that that Yuri Kuma Rashi has a little bit higher rating because, um, it although it's kind of like, re- almost a little bit impenetrable, like re- super symbolic and and you know, fucking like over the top, not over the top, but like wacky. Um, it still has a better has like has like a wider audience than than Yuri. And, and like I think a lot of those like you know those simple premise shows don't get as high of scores as as something with more to it, you know more more th- the more themes the more points. That's how it works on Mel. <laughs> so you're saying wait you're saying Sacred Trick has a higher rating? No, I'm I'm oh, saying that has the lower rating because it's the simpler show, and that's my okay. That's gotcha. my opinion on that. Gotcha. Um, that's that's basically what I was gonna say. Except I was gonna also add that Yuri Kuma is also like cuter, and the wacky cuteness is like a big hook for a lot of people. Well, and plus it's Ikuhara, and everyone knows him, so there's that. There's like the, also the fan a great boys. point. Also a great point. Although okay, to me, be fair, the fanboys might be disappointed the that it score didn't just the popularity, whatever they thought. Oh, so what? What was the question? Well, it's overall score. I'm just I'm just giving you more information to discuss. Do you think Ikuhara's name would be able to give it a higher score than it maybe deserves, or just get more people to watch it? In the uh, first probably place? both. Same idea with with every trigger show. It's they're they're all <laughs> like overrated. <laughs> Those are all amazing. You shut, you shut your well, mouth. some of them. Are, there's a couple that are very good, but anyway, um, yeah, it gets more people to watch it, and then. I think a lot of people are just going to blindly, you know, be like, oh, it's made by them. It must must be good. Maybe they won't give it a 10. Maybe they'll give it a 9 on Mal or an 8. But that's okay. I think it still I think has the more soccer potential. Trick Studio Dean, and they have a reputation. Yeah, yeah. I think Yuri Kuma has a higher score and a higher popularity. Oh, ah, I think I think Soccer Trick has higher popularity, if I had to guess. Because it's, it's easier... It's easier to What's get into. What's your reasoning it. there, Sam? Why do you because think Because Bareface Jones. <laughs> God damn it. You got to watch that, Sam. I'm putting that on your anime bingo. I know. I still haven't seen Yuri Kumarashi. It's like, Sam, you're, 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 you're queer. These are lesbians, and they're bears. So why aren't you watching it? And I just haven't because I'm busy watching other shit. Fucking seasonal. I hate seasonal. Yeah, stuff. Some, the whole point of seasonal is it's to drop most of it. <laughs> the only time That's we gotta true, watch okay. a lot is right away. Yeah, Just okay, but you're drop, making me do drop so. most. Stop of making it. me do so. <laughs> okay, fuck you. Anyways, I think it's just because it's just more cute. I don't know. It's fucking bears and shit. Literally bear face Johnson. All right, what Sam's else do you want from me? Wrong opinion on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you gotta understand that soccer trick has it has a hook. What's the hook of Yuri Kuma Rashi? Bear Cute faces? lesbian bears. Spit strings. That's true. Actually, Yuri right. Kuma Rashi, oh man, I don't know. I we think, gotta hurry I up think though, it's close. We've got I, two more turns. I'll go the other way. So Sam says Yuri Kuma, I'll say soccer trick. Sure. Do you want to go for bonus points and guess the score? No, we have two other people to get I'm not gonna no. guess. I guess they're both two? they're both in the sevens. I would say soccer trick is like a seven point two five and Yuri Kuma is like a seven point four. Five seven point five. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> okay, so Sam said Yuri Kumarashi is more po- is higher score. She do because and she loves Bayez. Sakura Trick she, is higher score. I love the no, 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 no. I said Sakura Trick has higher popularity. The the question was score. Well, then I say Yuri Kuma has higher score. Higher <laughs> okay. score, lower popularity. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. You suck. I fucking told you. You said we're both right, right? Both went with higher score. So this one is. Actually, a really tough one. I'm surprised how well this worked out when I picked these shows because I didn't look at their stats before picking them as a pair. Uh, they actually have the exact same score, 
but they're ranked 14 away from each other. Wow. In anime of all time. That's... Does this change your answers, possibly? Wait, so what was the... What's the... so? Okay, we guessed the popularity. The, wait, we said the higher score, and they have the yeah. same score. So they're both 7.15, so we have to go to their ranking. Oh, it's close, 7.25. Because that tells you... That tells you, like, the additional decimals, right? Okay, sure. I'll say the... Uh, 7.15. I'll say... So, hmm, the only 14 apart. Soccer trick. I still say no, that one is more apart. popular. Nope, I still say the Bears. So, Nick, you changed your answer to soccer trick? No, I always had that as... I think that one is more popular. Or, oh, we're going by score That's still. Po- well, Sk- fuck. Yeah, I'll rank. say... Fine, the I'll rank. go back to Yuri Kuma. We'll, we'll both say that. There. <laughs> You're both wrong. Oh, God, you cut Sakura out right trick. when you said that. I couldn't hear what you said. <laughs> You're both wrong. Sakura Trick is ranked 3,012. 3, Yuri Kumarashi is 3,028. Oh, fuck off. And Sakura wow, Trick Sam, get good. is way more popular. I know, I should get good. All right. Sakura Trick is in then. the top 600 most popular anime on my anime list, actually. And then uh, Yuri Kuma is a lot lower, right? Though. What's the, what's Yuri Kuma and the popularity? I can just fucking look it up. God damn it. All right, I'm <laughs> gonna go next, and I don't okay. really care. If yeah, you I told you. I told you soccer tricks more popular. All right, let's make it quick. Let's go. I'm gonna go next, and I'm not gonna. I don't care about explanation. But they're both magical girl shows. Oh. And I'm talking about just the first season of one of them, and the first season of Maho Shoujo Lyrical Girl Nanoha, and Flip Flappers. What years? Uh, Flip, Flip Flappers. Flappers came out 2016. Nanaha 2004. And then what's the question? What has the higher score? The higher my anime list score, Nanaha or Flip Flappers? And I have to remember, so, Nanaha is like really popular too. I never wa- I would never watch Nanaha, and I didn't finish watching Flip Flappers. I remember hearing that Flip Flappers definitely fell off towards the end, which would definitely hurt its score because only people that finished, or those people have higher weight in the scoring yeah. system. Flip Flappers got I, weird because the story got so convoluted. Yeah. I well, I still say the newer show Nana has a higher score also an because of score property. inflation. Oh, yeah. Nana, uh, yeah. Well, I, I was saying I agree with you for a different reason because um, score inflation on Mal, the newer stuff tends to have higher ratings. And I still say that Flip Flappers is, is higher. It's so probably you're both like, saying it's like mid-7 is my guess. is higher because it had, it had an established established fan base already. So, like, people so, wanted that show. So Quokka is saying... the power of recency is going to buoy flip-flappers. So, <laughs> buoy. So Quokka says Nanoha and Nick says... Or no, Nick says... Wait, wait. I say flip-flappers has higher score. When was the first season of Nanoha? 2004. Oh, I was thinking of like the recent reboot. There was a reboot. I'm gonna say Flip Flappers either way because, flip because it's one of yeah, those like, it's one of those shows that the, people uh, like overrate. a whole new like start of it came out just like in the last three years. No. Yeah, but Lyrical Nanaha is known as being the magical girl anime for magical men. Okay, so it's like the My Little Pony so and magical girl. Nanaha has a seven point four nine. And Flip Flappers has a 7.77. Called it. <laughs> that was so easy. I picked them both because they were super close in score. And non- and Koga made a great point. It had an established thing already. And Flip Flappers just came out of nowhere. But uh, there's a small handful of people you can see in the reviews that love it for some reason. Uh, anyway, go ahead, Nick. Okay, so... My question is about the popularity. So which is more, which has more um, members, or no, not members, which is more popular on Mal? Okay. And the two shows are both directed by, oh boy, Masaki Iwasa. Yeah, Lyrical Nanaha Vivid came out in 2015. They were, I believe, by different studios. Yeah, Tatsunoko for one and... Uh, whoa! I can't even see it. What? Sorry. What okay. This? So either way, they're both they're, they share the same director, Masaki Yuasa. The two shows are Devilman Crybaby from 2018 and Ping Pong the Animation from poop. 2014. Slightly less poop. And which has 
the higher popularity on Mal. How do they calculate the popularity? Well, oh, it's it's the number of members, baby. which has more Mal members. That's the basic question. Which is people that have added it to their yeah. list. Uh, ping pong, the animation is the kind of like cult thing where people always talk about that. And Devil May Cry Baby was on Netflix, which while everybody has Netflix, anime viewers seem to hate shows that end up on Netflix for some reason. Mm-hmm. Probably because they're like Nick. Um, Actually, I only watch bootleg VHS. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, that's Sam. I only, I only watch my anime on cassette tape. Dude, shut yep. up. I still, have a v- I still have a VCR and it still works. Fuck um, you. Laserdisc or bust? I have Fern Gully on Laserdisc. Fuck you off. <sighs> Here's the thing. Go on a guy. Enough said. Devil Man Cry Baby. I'm I'm in on ping pong. Okay, so. Zero for two, baby. Quoka says ping pong has more members, and Sam says Devil Man Cry Baby has more members. And the answer is Devil Man Cry Baby. Fuck has yo more members. Couch, the bitch. Netflix Fuck yo couch. The Netflix Fuck effect. Yo Sam. couch. Also, it's four years newer. So. Fuck yo couch. Oh, which Fuck one has the higher rating? Couch. Oh, that's the other question. Okay, which one do you think has the higher male score? Ooh, well. I'm still sticking to ping pong. I'll say Devil Man. For the reasons I mentioned. Earlier. I'll say I'll I'll stick to my guns because I love Devil Man. Okay, and then just to just to clarify, so. As far as popularity, Ping Pong was ranked 556 with 150,000 members. Devil May Cry Baby was 387 uh-huh. with 200,000. So then we're going to the score. And Sam said Devil Man. Quoka said Ping Pong. So Quoka was right. Yeah. Ping Pong is ranked number 63 on Mal, score of 8.64. And then Devil Man is 8.01. Ranked I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I would not mind doing a whole episode of just this game because it's really fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we should do. We got to make it this. faster though. We don't need a million. Yeah. No, we got to do it slower. Okay, we got to do. There's no. Discussion. We got to do a whole episode of this game where half of it's the episode's this game and the other half is the anime Pokemon when we played with uh, BCG. I we got to streamline that. both of them though. Like that, <laughs> the poker one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go a little quicker on it. Yeah, we gotta we gotta do. It. Let us know. On, if you like that shit. But, uh, yeah. Yep. yep. And also, Ping uh, Pong is definitely a better show than Crybaby. Uh, right. Although right. Crybaby was very, very intriguing. So It was a very good All right. It was, a, it was hit or miss. Oh, it had some sexy t- it was All right. A, Crybaby is really interesting. I don't know how I want to rank <laughs> it. <laughs> Ping Pong's easy. That's a 10. Fucking 10 out of 10. Like, oh, my God. Not even close. But... Is it better than Sakura Trick? Ping Pong. I think we know is, the answer. Here. Wait, what was the question? But is it better than Sakura Trick? I was Trick? actually going to say, yeah, it's we know the it's answer. at least as good as Sakura Trick. It's equally as good. Both tens. It's it's claiming a lot. These are some bold claims coming from a little man. <laughs> well, what can I say? Okay. <laughs> On that bombshell, this has been what well, I've been. Quoka. With me has been Nick and Sam, and this has been the Anime Summit Podcast. Yay! Now I can take my pants off. I was already naked the whole time, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs>